So last video we found elasticity using algebra. This video we're going to look at some examples where the only way to find elasticity of demand is by using calculus and taking derivatives. So uh, the first example is when you haven't had a price and quantity that changed yet and we uh, want to see how they will change. So uh, in this case elasticity is still the percentage change in quantity over percentage change in price, but uh, we can write it as uh, the partial derivative of the quantity with respect to price, uh, and then times P over Q. Um, and this is just exactly the same as the change in quantity as a percentage over change in price as a percentage. Uh, but we can solve for this uh, using the derivative of this demand function. So let's take this uh, partial derivative. So derivative of quantity with respect to price uh, is really simple because uh, remember partial derivative, so we take this y as a constant, so derivative of any constant is 0, and uh, that's 120 and 4y. So this partial derivative will just be equal to negative 3, and then this price and quantity are given in the uh, information. So we can take the 10 over 20, and this equals negative 30 over 20, which reduces to negative 3 over 2, or negative 1.5. So we have a slightly elastic uh, demand curve in that situation. Then we can also do this second example where we don't know price or quantity, but we know how they're related. And uh, this might not seem like enough information, but we can still find it using the uh, elasticity equation. So we're using calculus here uh, because we don't know. We haven't seen a change yet in the amount of quantity demanded or the change in price. So uh, we just write the equation and we'll start off by finding this partial derivative. Uh, it's a little difficult uh, with a negative exponent, but you know, you take it just the same. So bring it down and then uh, subtract 1 from the power. And then we multiply this by p over q. And q, we're going to substitute in 5p minus 2. So we have negative 10p minus 3 times p over 5p to the negative second. Now this looks a little complicated, but uh, remember this negative 2 can be brought into the numerator, so it's really negative 10 over 5p to the negative third, I'm just bringing this out, and uh, times p to the third. And so these p's cancel and we get negative 2 for our elasticity, which uh, is really nice, nice numbers. So those are two examples of finding elasticity using calculus.